going to briefly talk about three uh, NFL football players who also became head coaches in the NFL. They had great college careers, but mainly they were World War II combat veterans. As football player Mike Holovac finished fourth in the Heisman vote. He was first team All-American fullback and he was very famous. That was all before he went to war. Norm Van Brocklin was sixth in the Heisman Trophy vote. That was after the war. Went to college on the GI Bill. And Tom Landry, he was in college, played football. Dropped out, <clears throat> became a um, B-17 bomber pilot, had 26 combat missions. His aircraft was struck by enemy fire on all 26. Holovac was a, became a PT boat captain, uh, operated in the... Uh, Pacific, New Guinea, New Georgia, and the Philippines. He says everybody uh, said he seems to be the only one in the PT boats who never met Jack Kennedy. Um, so, um, Tom Landry, a lot of people don't know, they just know him as a coach. He was first team all pro quarterback in the NFL. All right. Um, going back, here's World War One, And Cold War football. Now, the military, American military, had football teams ubiquitous. They weren't 100%, but almost every unit had a football team. And the idea was to teach a unit of men to operate on their own to accomplish a mission. And like today, where the coach calls the plays, uh, they had a chain of command and you did what the authority said. Um, times have changed. So here now, World War II. Here's the book by Violence Every Sunday, story of a professional football coach by Mike Holbeck, coach of the Boston Patriots, and uh, it's a very good book. Now, this is almost unbelievable, but I remember it being uh, discussed on television, and um, there was another guy who became a head coach, and in fact, he won an AFL championship. Uh, Holovac took over his Wally Lem's boat. He was his executive officer. Uh, Lem was injured, sent back home. Holbeck was promoted. We were hit a few times, but never sank. Now, one thing he talks about, and I wish I had uh, marked it, but uh, Wally Lim, on a quiet night, uh, or it was quiet at the time, my recollection is they were then in, in combat after this discussion. It's a night mission. They, are, they had gone out into a lane where enemy ships were known to pass, turned off all their lights, engines, and were just laying there uh, on a... Uh, New moon, dark night, and waiting 
for to hear or see evidence of the enemy and they were talking about their ambitions and they both wanted to be football coaches and um, they both did and what's amazing the very first game both of them uh, were head coaches in pro football they played each other Boston Patriots against uh, Houston Oilers. Astonishing. So, uh, Holovac was, um, uh, he saw much combat. I cannot find uh, exactly how much, but he was in a lot of combat. Uh, as a PT boat commander and an executive officer. Norm Van Brocklin was on a destroyer. He had three battle stars. Uh, his daughter wrote a book. Norm Van Brocklin was called The Dutchman. The Dutchman and the Portland's Finest Rose was his wife. Uh, a love story inspired by football legend Norm Van Brocklin. So here's a portion where he's talking about uh, on the football team in college after the war. And it turns out almost all the guys were there on the GI Bill were veterans. And Van Brocklin was on the Smalley Fletcher class destroyer. Um, so they were both in the Navy, Hollenbeck and Van Brocklin, and were combat veterans. And then Landry, as I said, B-17 pilot, or formerly co-pilot, but uh, 26 combat missions, you know, they check the plane before they leave and check when they get back, were hit by enemy fire on all 26 of his missions. So these guys... Went through combat, World War II. And they come back and they play pro football. And uh, Landry wasn't really famous compared to Holovac, fourth in the Heisman vote, Van Brocklin, sixth in the Heisman vote. Uh, both were first team All American. Landry later became first team All Pro. The NFL's 50th anniversary. Uh, they voted the top players at position. Number one was Johnny Unitas. Number two was Otto Graham. Number three was Norm Van Brocklin. Great passer. Still holds the NFL record for most yards thrown in a game, 554 yards. So, uh, yeah, salute. Holovac, Van Brocklin, Landry, veterans of combat in World War II, as well as being great football players and great coaches.